what you can expect from a four cell hydrogenator, one of our magnum units. We just pulled this off the inspection bench. Now I'm running this on a 110 to 12 volt converter. It's drawing, all four cells are drawing about 20 amps total. This has just started up and it's still cold. When it warms up, it will draw 8 to 10 amps. We fuse each cell with a current delimitator, delimitator at 10 amps so that you don't over, overheat these things and, and cause damage. And that's all you need. 8 to 10 amps is fine and it'll produce a lot of gas and give you 15 to 25 percent mileage improvements, a power increase, and they'll last for thousands of hours. We haven't been able to test these to the full, full limits of their endurance, but we're estimating that seven to 8,000 hours if these are run according to our instructions. Now these will, when they warm up, they will, they will increase their output about 15 to 20 percent after about 10 or 15 minutes. This is still cold and it's, uh, it's producing at the rate you see, which is probably about half to two thirds of what it will produce in 15 minutes or so. But that's fine. If you overproduce, you may have trouble with your O2 sensors if you've got a fuel injected post-1996 gas operated engine. If you got a diesel, you don't have to worry about that, but you still don't want to run them much more than 10 amps per cell. That's why we put the limiters on there at 10 amps. If you start hearing them, the delimiters pop, that means you're, they're shutting off because you made your electrolyte too strong and it's shutting off on and off and on and off. They're automatic self-resetting. So this is what you can, you can get out of a four cell that's running as we suggest. So I think that's about all we need to show you for now. I'll let you go. Thank you much.